If you're a non-farmer, you may occasionally hear a farmer say the words, chem fallow. Well, today during our Farm Basics time, we want to talk about exactly what that means, the positives and the negatives. Well, when you've got some ground that you're not going to be farming for one reason or another, maybe you choose to, hey, I'm going to leave it for a year, catch the rainfall for a year, and then next year I'll have two years worth of rainfall to try and grow a crop on. It's actually kind of a common thing, especially when you get into the western part of the United States or into more arid climates. But for some farmers this year, the spring was just too wet. They weren't able to get in the field and they've kind of got a fallow year whether they wanted to or not. Either way, there are weeds that are coming up and for well, farmers to look at those weeds all through the season, see them go to seed and know they're going to fight a whole bunch more weeds next year, that's just unacceptable. Okay, well, let, let's step back for just a second. Fallow just simply means that we're not going to raise a crop. When we say chem fallow, that means that, yes, we're not going to raise a crop, but Darren just started talking about weeds. Farmers don't like weeds, as you know, so we want to control those weeds. You have two basic methods to control them. Used to be three methods. The third method, pulling the weeds. Not many people want to do that anymore. So the two methods that are left is number one, tillage, and number two, herbicides, or as some farmers will refer to it, chemical or chem. So that's where the chem comes in, is herbicide weed control, and fallow just means we're not going to farm that ground for the next year. All right, so let's go back uh, to, to some old school farming methods of just, well, hey, I don't have chemicals, so all I'm going to do is tillage, and I'm going to till the ground. Guess what happens the first time you catch a rain, or if there's moisture in the soil, maybe a week after you do the tillage? Well, more weeds are coming up. So what's your option at that point? Well, just go back, do some more tillage and do it again and again. And what we found too often is that for fallow situations, farmers were doing tillage three or four times even in a lot of cases, and they ended up getting more erosion potential out there because the soil just kind of got powdery and would blow fairly easily. And every time there's tillage done, then there is moisture that's lost. There's also organic matter that's lost. So all those things are not real good, plus the fact that that it costs money every time you have to do tillage, a lot of fuel, and wear and tear on equipment. So a lot of farmers turn to herbicide. And yes, there are many advantages to that, but the disadvantages are, hey, it does cost some money. So not only do I have the application cost, but I have the herbicide cost as well. All right, Brian, it costs money, but here's the thing, it could actually save farmers money depending on what herbicides they choose. Now, there are certainly herbicides like Roundup, for example, or like Gramoxone that are going to burn down what's up today, but not have any soil activity to kill the weeds that are going to come up tomorrow. There are other herbicides, though, that get used in a chem fallow situation that do have some soil residual, meaning they're going to still stick around in the soil for a little while, maybe a few weeks, and new weeds that are germinating will pick up some of that herbicide and be controlled as well. So you'll get control that day of weeds that are up, but you also get control of weeds that are going to pop up over the next few weeks. All right, so the reason why we're talking about this today is to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of fallow. So in other words, why would a farmer let that ground sit idle for a year or fallow for a year? Darren mentioned earlier to conserve moisture. So you kind of build up the moisture going into the next year. You might build up a little bit of moisture. It's not a real big deal, but you can gain a little bit. One of the other things is you'll have more nutrients there because every year your soil's organic matter releases some free nutrients. Okay, so if you have two years worth of free release, that's obviously much better than one. So if a farmer wants to cut costs on fertilizer, he would have a little bit more fertility there after a second year. But the whole thing is, the way I look at this deal, if you fallow for a year, a lot of the beneficial microbes in the soil die, including mycorrhiza fungi. So the problem is the next year, if a farmer wants to raise corn, a lot of times that corn will turn purple early in the year. We really worry about that this year when you're going to find out, okay, I wasn't able to plant a crop, I take prevent plant, then going into the next year, now we have purple corn. That's a real problem. So what a lot of farmers will do to avoid that issue is raise a cover crop during the fallow year. The other big downside here, Brian, is of course farmers aren't going to get any income from that ground for one right. year, and that's a challenge. You say we're going to gain some fertility, maybe gain a little bit of moisture, but at the cost of losing a whole year's worth of income. So right. that, that is a big trade-off. Which is why fallow isn't real common. But again, today we wanted to discuss chem fallow and what that was exactly. And again, fallow is, at least for this season, not raising a crop, whether that's by choice or not. And then the chem side is herbicide weed control as opposed to using tillage. 
Well, we definitely need some good weed control options. If we have our weed of the week out there, we'll show you how to stop this one coming up later in the show. <laughs> 